wife is driving so that means i'm gonna give you guys a review finally finally the g3 plus by new mobile show around get a couple city of the shot get a couple city of the shots get a couple shots of the city while we driving uh, and then want to get my hair cut because your boy out here looking like wolf but jj by the face so yeah let's get to it We're gonna finish the conversation in the car. I give you the cons and the pros. Can't talk about it too much right now because they're playing copyright music in a barbershop and I don't wanna get flagged by YouTube. So we'll finish from now. Alright, y'all, got the fresh haircut looking normal again. First thing we're gonna talk about is the cons with the G3 Plus new by new mobile. Now one of the cons that I'm already noticing out the gate, but that was kind of just like really driving me crazy was the LED notification on the front of the device. Now, for those probably thinking like your all Android for the most part has the LED notification what you tripping on this one though it's a little annoying though because like it the way it blinks is very very bright and it's like you can't help but notice it so it's really irritating towards your eye hope that's something they changed in the G4 mobile uh, but it's it's really it's, it's really that annoying like I would not be make I would not be saying this if it wasn't that annoying number two Second thing, I don't, I'm not really feeling about the device, honestly. Y'all gonna trip on them, but I'm just saying, it's thousand dollar devices out there, or devices even cheaper than this sometimes with a headphone jack. We're not in the age yet to get rid of the headphone jack. We getting there, we getting real close, but I still prefer the headphone jack on this device. Just trying to kind of keep in mind. There's no number three. I was sitting here thinking, I was contemplating if I should even mention it, but what I'm kind of on the fence about, honestly, is the camera. Now, again, I am aware that the, the phone is only $200, so I can't be sitting here expecting a camera that's crazy. Now, for the most part, it's a good camera for the price point. But once you've used other cameras, um, you know, <laughs> I'm recording on the GH5, so. You know, you just expect, like, you just see things differently. You know what I mean? It's like, once you start, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, it's kind of like black women. Once you go black, you never go back. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my sisters. But anyway, no. I'm <laughs> Let's kind of get into the pros about the device so, so we can kind of justify this to our price point and see if it's worth the buy for you. So, right off the gate, just so we know, so there's no, hmm, I wonder, I wonder type of thing, I would not recommend the device for an adult. <laughs> like, I know you guys are probably thinking like, well, who would you recommend the device for? I would not recommend the device for an adult because at this point in time, what has been millennials, man, we kind of need everything fast, quick, um, no hiccups, no no issues. We need everything just to work. Not saying this device doesn't work, but there is a, there is a, you will notice a slowdown every now and then that you will notice on a flagship device. So, all right, y'all, it was just too much movement going on outside for me to finish vlogging, plus it was kind of cold. So we're gonna finish on the, the uh, review of the G3. Plus, by New Mobile, right in the crib. Now, when I was saying that it's not for adults because like pretty much, well, the millennials for the most part, again, we need everything quick, fast, and in a hurry. Now, um, I am going to get into the pros of this device, but it's just something I really want to cover before we, before we move completely along. The software is not bad. Now, I instantly put Nova Launcher on this phone just because I didn't like the skin that came out of the box. No shot, you know what I'm saying? There's no distance to them or anything like that, but it's just Nova Launcher is way better. Honestly, too, why I say this phone is not for adults because most adults, most working adults, so business owners, my entrepreneurs, most of us own flagship devices, so we've come from flagship devices, right? So we just kind of expect our phones just to be a little bit more intuitive than what this phone can offer. Now, again, this phone is only 200 bucks, so I'm not expecting for it to be blowing like the G, uh, the the S9 or the S10 out of the water or anything like that. But, you know, it is what it is, man. It's kind of hard, because I'm like, here's the thing, I'm not trying to, I'm trying to respect the device and its price point, right? I can't really J down on it like how I want to because like the device is $200, right? So that's no difference than me going to buy some Nikes from the Nike outlet versus me going to buy some Nikes from the, uh, like a swap meet. I can't get mad at them if I walk out into the parking lot and maybe like two, 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 three hours later, the bottom of my soles falling off and I only paid, you know what I'm saying, $30 for the shoes versus I want to actually went to the, you know what I'm saying, to Nike, the big boys. I wouldn't have to worry about that. So it's like, I know what I'm getting into when I'm walk, like when I'm walking with this device. So I'm trying to let you, I'm trying to give you guys a sense of reality when you handle this device and kind of what's to expect. I don't want to give you guys a false sense of hope or a false sense of security with this device, meaning that it's like it's gonna be like a pair, but to like the OnePlus Six or something like that. Like, no, it's not. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not. 
you know, it's not comparable to that. It's a $200 device. The camera is meh. Um, I'll throw some camera samples up here and here. Just so you guys get an idea of what it looked like. Camera's not bad. It's, you know what I'm saying? You could definitely use it. But it's, it's, think of it like this. The camera, you ever seen like a Snapchat or an Instagram video when people be having like that slow motion effect going on with their camera? Because it's like they move, but the camera got to catch up with their movement. Like you're going to get down on this device. Not saying it's crappy, but again, just something to kind of keep in mind. Now, this is something you probably could have fixed with the G4. I don't know. I haven't reviewed the G4 yet. You know what I'm saying? That may very well not be an issue anymore. But for right now, for this particular handset, you know, I wouldn't use this for social media. Like this device, I will only use a backup. And the reason I said it is because the, the the hugest pro of this device, and honestly, like if you didn't get this device for nothing else, the hugest pro of this device is battery life. There were times, yo, like I would sit this phone down for days and it would still be alive. And I mean, like we all know, like you sit an Android device down, like a flagship Android device for a day, like you don't like, come on, be like, we know it's gonna be dead like pretty soon. You maybe can get you like a day, maybe two on standby on a flagship Android device, especially Galaxy phones. This here, Joe, like I can get like maybe five to six days without using this thing, just leave it sitting there and it still have plenty of juice left. Like for example, when I first got this device, uh, I picked it up like around, I want to say, it, it was dying, right? So I had 2% left, I charged it up, and that was around the time I was in the car going to the barbershop, right? So I charged it up, it was at 21%. Now ever since then, I've been like kind of using it, trying to get like still keep myself from Mary Wise with and stuff like that. It's only at 18%. That's crazy, you know what I mean? Like the battery life on this device is second to none when it comes to that. Now as far as gaming and all that, the games, there are some games that work well, there are some games that don't. Again, it's $200, you get what you pay for. So, I wouldn't recommend this as a gaming device, I would only recommend this as a backup device for people who just kinda need like a phone to kinda keep them afloat when they send a flagship to get repaired, right? So, what are some of the things that would, like I would say that would justify the $200 price point? One, the battery. Two, a stock Android, but it's still running Android 8.0, but so was my Note 9, so that's not saying much. The fingerprint scanner works very well 100% of the time, had no issues with that, see? Boom, worked just fine. Um, you could double tap, the power button gets to the camera very fast, that works very well, and that's pretty much about it. Like, honestly, the, the battery life alone, I would say would make this phone worth $200. Like, dead ass, like, there's no, it's no other way around that. There's no other way I can put that. Like, the battery life alone for this device, for 200 bucks, it's a win for me, and it, it, it has the extra benefits of having the camera, having a cool display. I'll let you guys hear how the speakers sound, just so you can get a feel for it for yourself. The speakers are, you know, like they're cool. Let's go, let's go to one of my videos real quick, and then I'll let you kind of see. I'll show you guys the video that I did for an alderman here. Turn it up. Brightness is not the strongest suit of this device either, so, uh, but here, take a look at it. Justice in our community. And that's why I'm supporting William Calloway. William Calloway has already changed the trajectory of our city. Only one bottom fire and speak going this way. Now again, this is Max Valley. Videotape release. And that videotape yeah. And even now this is a 720p display. Even when you look at the display, you're like, you notice like yeah, this is a 720p display. The display is not like trash trash, but it's like you know, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ever seen like an ugly chick that your man's trying to put you up with, or your or females? You ever had a dude? I mean, your home uh, uh, a dude that you that your your homegirl try to put you on? It's like, nah, he ain't ugly, but you know, he ain't cute either. Or she ain't ugly, but she ain't you know, she all right. That's how the display is. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's the best way I can put that for y'all to understand what I'm trying to tell y'all. Like, I can't put that no other way. Like, when you watching, like, yeah, you know, it's cool, but it ain't like no damn we. Who that? What kind of who, who display is that? that Samsung display? Like, nah, it ain't nothing like that. This is a, all right, it works. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that was just a, you know, me recording um, an endorsement video for the Ottoman, and and you know, it looked good. You know, I had the road mic set up and everything like that. I had the background music going. So it ain't like my audio was just bad when I recorded. Like, nah, that's just the output, the max output that this phone can do. So, you know, what I recommend this device, if you want a device that's great on battery and standby time, and you just want to kind of have an extra device to, you feel what I'm saying, do you and not, you know, or, uh, you know what I'm saying, that's all you can afford right now, then yeah, grab it. For the 200, cool. But don't expect anything other than that. It's $200, you feel what I'm saying? Like, don't come in thinking you about to get like some performance that's comparable to other smartphone devices. You're not, it's, it's not gonna happen. So on a scale of one to 10 for heat rock, I give it maybe a five, you know, 
Again, she ain't bad, but she cool. It's your boy Shawnee Nice, and I'm out, man. Deuces.